Hey everyone, Xman490 here, and welcome to what might be my final Let's Play. I might do like a Pokemon game or two, I don't know, but I kinda doubt it, honestly. But welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, I have to be honest with you, this game is probably my favorite favorite uh, sort of like I mean I guess it is when I think about it because like uh, I'll just name this X-Man or maybe I'll just use my own name man it's gonna I'm gonna have to take some time or like I'm gonna have a little difficulty getting used to the configuration of the buttons Although, I mean, the X and Y buttons aren't used much, but yeah, I'm using an Xbox uh, controller for this, by the way. But, things are working alright. Progress save, and yes, indeed, as you can see, I am uh, emulating this, so every time I save, you're gonna see that. Whatever. It's, 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 it's a thing. I gotta say, like, the, 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 the upper... The uprising of it is really good. I guess that, I guess that would explain why the the file, this file that I'm, you know, using, is, uh, I think it's a whole gigabyte, at least. Yeah, I think so. So let's see here. I am. Uh, not really gonna skip the dialogue, but yeah, like, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it, you know, Princess Peach is like, oh, here, we're gonna go on an adventure, and we're like, okay, sounds like fun, gonna go treasure hunting, you know, it, it would be nice if, if it was just like, you know what, just, just, just a little treasure hunting expedition or something, oh, and there's a little graphical bug there, but whatever, it happens. Do do. Um. So yeah, like honestly, I have th th there's like nothing that I don't like about this game. Maybe it's, I mean, th th there is a little bit of backtracking sometimes, but it keeps things like rather interesting. Uh, I have to, I, I gotta be honest with you. Honestly. Oh, right, gotta press A to get this thing going. And things are going A-OK, -okay, I guess. It seems like there's a bit of a slowdown with that ship, I guess. And I think there was a little bit of a graphical bug with the drapes, but I, I should probably stop talking about that. So... Sir... Please wake up, sir. That's Rugport. I do. Really, it, it's, it is kind of kind of funny how like it's not in the Mushroom Kingdom, but then again, like it it. I don't know. I I, I do like Rogue Rugport because like it, it does. I don't know. It, it's like it's a city unlike any other, where everything is broken and stuff, but people are still around because I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Mario was Mario was probably sleeping through that. He does sleep a lot. It's it's kind of funny how that happens. Whenever he gets bored, you know, nothing's happening. Like in Mario 64. And I think in Sunshine as well. And, um, there's also someone, like, when people tell stories to him, then, uh, then he gets bored and falls asleep. So here's a save block, you just press yes, and the progress is saved. There we go. Uh oh. It's trouble. And I'm skipping the dialogue accidentally. I mean, this this is like the fifth or sixth or who knows how many times I've played this game. This is like fifth or sixth uh, playthrough of this. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll tell you like a story about you know how I got this game. 
I remember I was at Toys R Us because, like, it was... I was still sort of a kid. Um, and back then, I was like, oh, it, it, Paper Mario it is paper? I, I guess that's, like, the way he used to be. That sounds like fun. I, I haven't played that in a long time. It's... And, I mean, I guess that was before I got the Super Mario Advance series. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just gonna jump, whatever. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. It's a bit odd, but I think I can... Okay, wh why aren't my action commands... Uh, that action command is working. Alright, maybe sooner? That that That's working, but I don't know. There we go, okay. Yeah, got a little stylish in there. You know, you do a big jump in there, and... Like, you, you, you press A on him, and then you do a higher jump... And then you press A again to make it all stylish. Uh, A in midair, that is. Oh dear! Oh no! Poor Mario! Oh, and wait! I see Gum Gumbella. Gum Gum Ashum Gumbella. All these fools. Just get out of here. Kind of funny how there's like a bunch of things, but you can't really whack them yourself. Moonwalking. Oh yeah. Um. I know that 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 I didn't really try a Michael Jackson voice, but I'm not really good at that, anyways. I gotta say, I like how this game sometimes has like bunch of little characters around like like tons of them it's a nice touch you know I guess it shows off the computing powers of the GameCube or something ooh yeah oh right I I, I yeah the, the, it's Goombella I said her name before but yeah whatever Yeah, I guess so, and I just rolled into this sort of let's play. It's been a while since I've been doing an LP stuff, I guess. I mean, it's it's been a week, I guess. Yeah, like, uh, more like 10 days. You know, I, I should probably change the graphics of this, because, like, some, some of these colors are kind of mixing a bit poorly. Like, on Mario's nose, there's a bit of... Overlap, you know, like you can't really see the outline too well. It's yeah, I guess it's jarring enough to uh, fix up. Perhaps I'm not sure. It could just be emulation in general. I mean, some of these look pretty good, like the Piantas back there, and you know they're not like all like the resolutions uh, solid on them. So here's Toadsworth. Oh yeah, and and to, to finish off a little story of how I got this game, yeah, I was like, oh, it's paper? I guess it's like a new thing. I mean, the old thing, the, the way it was in the past, Super Mario Bros. and such. But I was so pleasantly surprised, instead it was this, with all this text, and it was pretty interesting, and, and yeah, fun times. And, of course, you know, like these cameos from Super Mario Sunshine. I guess, like, I mean, it, it definitely makes sense here, but with uh, Mario Kart 8, it's kind of kind of strange. You know, there's there's Sunshine Airport and a bunch of Piantas, and... I th yeah, there's, there, there's Piantas in the cheap, cheap uh, place, the, the beach, cheap, cheap beach in Mario Kart, as well as... Uh, Noki's in Water Park or something. Water, the the one with the with the spinning ride, you know, it's like a roller coaster sort of thing. Flume ride. Ugh. Yes, the princess. What a surprise! 
It's funny how, I mean, like, I don't know, it, it just makes sense, you know, these people, these people, this this is like some different kind of, of region, not, not a kingdom, I guess, but some different thing, you know, a, a county or a state, I guess. Or perhaps just a collection of city-states. You never know. You don't know about the... About the politics of this... This region, you know? There are plenty of mayors, but... You know... That, um... Like, they could be running the whole thing. They could be just... Like, or running the... You know, just the cities. And they, and, and they have their say, and that's that. Anyways, we just got Goombella. Pretty good character. Pretty sassy. Got some kind of uh, eyelashes. Um, kind of funny how that is. Got a lot of makeup. And it's funny how she's like the only. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure like she's the only female Goomba you see in the game. That's 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 an odd thing. That is a, a thing worth observing. It's strange. Yes. Uh, she jumps in the air, similar to Mario's jump, but the stylish command is not the same. I'll try to get all the stylish commands I can. I mean, after all, that's that's what I'm gonna need to do because I'm gonna really rely on what those stylish commands provide me with. So let's get going. Saving. No, thank you. Okay. Fine, whatever. Did I, I? I did it already. Uh oh! Someone stole my money. Uh, I, again, again, I say it like before, before the game is like, oh, that's what happened. I tell you what, they, they took your money. Not all of it, you know. So it's like not the end of the world. But I can go back after him to a back alley and grab the ca the the coins back, but. I don't need that. You just need to go into here, and here is Professor Frankly. So speaking of coins, this ch this 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 playthrough, I am gonna have three little challenges. Uh, it's questionable whether they will really work out. Whether I'll have to retry bosses like three times, but eh, I, I can imagine it'll work out. There's gonna be a lot of strategy with what I got, what I can find. But I, uh, the challenges are no spending money, no using items besides one POW block that is absolutely necessary in one place in the game, like the next chapter after this uh, prologue. And, um, yes, Goombella, yes. At least, at least you guessed right, eventually. <laughs> Instead of like, oh, is it Goom, like... Uh, Eliz Elizagoom. I think I think like one of them is like Elizagoom, and and I don't know what the other one is. Woohoo! Uh, it's funny how Mario never talks, even though it is kind of established that he does talk if, if, a little bit. You know, it's like it's a me Mario, and Wahoo. I mean, um, well, not Wahoo. Th th that's just what he said now, but. Uh, um. Hmm. I guess let's a go or uh, pizza roll or whatever Game Grumps th thinks it is. You know. Oh, hot pickle, hot pickle, hot pickle. <laughs> uh. Got something in my mouth. I hope you can't really hear that. I mean, I can't imagine that you really do. And there's a possibility of that. <laughs> probably heard that. Sniffle, too. I should probably, like, uh, clean myself up after this uh, part. You know? You know. Yes, yes. Must have all of the crystal stars. Because, um... I don't know, you're going on an expedition with the map and everything. Not sure... <laughs> I'm not even really paying attention. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I don't think that, yeah, Magical Map, that is the map that Mario got from Princess Peach. There we go. 
So there we have it. Taken to the doorway. And they'll show where to find the crystal stars. I have to say, I guess like one thing I sort of slightly don't like about this is that, I mean, it is linear, you know, it's like a, a, a clear procession of the uh, chapters, but and the game's kind of designed around that, you know, there's like some puzzles and and, and other things that are like, you know what, you, you need this thing and then you need that thing from the previous chapter. And then you need this thing from this chapter, and only this chapter, and now you can get to the next chapter with that, and such and such. Yes, the magical map is here. You sure are ecstatic, frankly. Frankly, sir, you are ecstatic. Ecstatic. Such a such an odd word. I guess like ek, sort of... Uh, like is it means it's the opposite, you know, the opposite of static. You know, like uh excited. I don't know. I think that was a bit of a graphical bug, but whatever. Yes, let's go down. Let's get moving. Head on out. Oh. Something just occurred. Yes. Yes, of course. No thanks, I'm good. Yes, let's go. Just press down on the pipe. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the frame rate did uh take a take a hit there down to from like sixty to forty. You can't really see it at sixty because that's the way I'm not, and that's not the way I'm recording. I guess I could try it next time. I never really thought of that, but I mean, it, uh, heck, it's worth a try. Not sure if YouTube will detect that, but uh, it probably will. You know, computers these days they do the things, they do the things, and then the stuff, and things working out pretty well. I gotta say, the only problem is that it might just, you know, like really. I don't know, like exhaust my computer, and the and the files, you know, from this will probably uh, be pretty big. But hey, whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God, frankly, yes, that's actually something I want to do. Oh my God. Alright, so I have Y as Y on the Xbox, like as if it's on Xbox. So I think that works. Y and then X. X is the one that is like uh, bent the other way, so that's good. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay. I got the hang of it now. One, two, three, four. Four, and there are the stylish commands, and I forgot to do the ones for Goombella, but uh, Goombellas are kind of tricky. I guess you press A before, uh, or maybe, I, I think like right before you jump on him. <laughs> and for once, and probably the only time, they actually, like, the, the enemies run away, instead of just, uh, fizzling off, you know. Ugh. Yes, first strikes and all that. I guess... I guess I'll continue next time, you know. We're gonna get to more battles. I'm going to see if the graphics can work a little better, and such and such. So, until next time, goodbye.